Sewing is magic, creative and fun. It's meant to be shared with a special someone. Let's fly off to Sewland and stitch something new where all the town sews at a quarter to two. And you taught me how to embroider. Well, you taught me how to sew in the comfort of my living room when I was newly married and had a whole house to decorate. And watch the program at nancyzeman.com. But now we're doing more chic embroideries and more comfortable. Thank you for joining me in my life and inspiring <laughs> me, not just in sewing, but in living. Now it's time for dueling sergers, where Gail and I will each show you some unique techniques using the serger sewing machine. And Gail, you developed this cushion technique. And I did because I got tired of going back and forth to the sewing machine to get a tight cover. Oh, Nancy, you, you, I may have taught you how to do landscape quilting, but you're the one who taught me how to teach, and my teaching has never been the same. Oh, well, thank you. Things exact. It's, it doesn't have to, we're not technically correct in this no. series. Most of you know this program as Sewing with Nancy, but really, it should be called Sewing with Nancy, Donna, Pat, Kate, Diane, Lois, Deanna, you get the idea. And three of us on this stage go to the studio every time. I'd like you to meet Donna Fenske and Pat Hahn. Donna has, is my right-hand person in producing Sewing with Nancy, making samples, planning the program. Pat is our wordsmith, our editor of all the books and booklets that we use to help you understand the program. And they come with me every taping date. They set up samples. They work in the control room. They make sure that I'm saying the right things. They follow my script. We work together as a team. We can honestly say that you can make this scarf in about 20 minutes. Oh, I would, I would say. It was really fun. <laughs> well, we should talk about how we met when yeah. you were teaching in Minnesota. I was. Mm -hmm. I was one of your students. And I was I taught her everything she knew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. And I was an English teacher at the time who just liked to sew. And 30 years later, here we're still working together. The other ribbon, which Mary has dropped on the floor. Oh. <laughs> we'll just tuck it there like that. How's that? <laughs> and that's where it would be. Oh, hand me down my needle and thread. These, These hands are made for quilting. I got crazy patterns in my head. These hands are made for quilting. This string of cloth just makes me sing. These hands are made for quilting. Leftover scraps are a precious thing. These hands are made for quilting.
it's humbling to be here after 30 years. It doesn't seem possible. As you can tell, there is a big orchestra that I direct with so many people to help me. I'm just one small part of it. My thanks, especially to the staff at Wisconsin Public Television. Here's our crew. Uh, lots of people make this happen here, just lots of them, and I am very grateful. But then thank you to our audience and especially to you, our viewers, for inviting me into your homes. My goal is to teach in this classroom for a little while longer. And as I end each program, thanks for joining me. Bye for now.